Tesla just announced its latest humanoid robot, Optimus Generation 2, on December 13, 2023, marking a substantial stride forward in the realm of humanoid AI robotics. This cutting-edge wonder represents a major leap forward in terms of speed, agility, and general functionality, perfectly embodying Elon Musk's vision of the future where advanced humanoid robots play a crucial role in our everyday lives. Today's video will be covering the marvelous Optimus Generation 2, its multitude of innovations, and how it's paving the way for futuristic AI robots. But before we begin, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as we strive our hardest to bring the latest and greatest in the world of AI. Let's dive in. Let's get straight into the enhancements. These enhancements that we're about to discuss mark a substantial progression in Tesla's humanoid robot initiative. There are four notable features and improvements, starting with number one, enhanced movement capabilities. The Optimus Gen 2 can walk 30% faster than the previous model, which is attributed to Tesla's custom-designed actuators, sensors, and most likely a great weight reduction. The first iteration of Optimus was able to walk at up to around 5 miles per hour or 8 kilometers per hour. With the 30% increase, this means Optimus Gen 2 can walk at up to around 6.5 miles per hour or 10.5 kilometers per hour. The robot has undergone a weight reduction of 10 kilograms or 22 pounds, making it more agile and enhancing its balance and overall precision. This lighter load allows for lighter use of resources for movement like walking and allows the use of said resources to be allocated into the other components of the walking like balance and coordination. Number two, improved exterior design. The exterior design changes have resulted in more flexible and human-like head movements thanks to a two degree of freedom actuated neck. In addition, the robot's feet are now equipped with force and torque sensing capabilities along with our articulated toe sections, allowing for a more human foot shape and more human-like foot movements. Number three, advanced hands. The hands of Optimus Gen 2 have seen a major overhaul, now featuring 11 degrees of freedom with tactile sensing on all fingers. This upgrade enables the robot to handle sensitive and even delicate objects like an egg with better precision. Now, what are degrees of freedom? Degrees of freedom means the number of axes along which a joint of a robot can move. The 11 degrees of freedom hand design allows Optimus Gen 2 to move its fingers with very high dexterity, similar to a human hand. And lastly, number four, artificial intelligence. While not explicitly mentioning while searching or researching about the robot, it's important to consider that under the hood, Optimus Gen 2 expands upon the learning abilities of its predecessor, potentially boasting even greater potential for further development and increased artificial intelligence prowess. With any AI development, every new iteration or version has better and cleaner training data better fine-tuning capabilities, and better results. Optimus Gen 2 is no different. Now, Tesla has not yet provided any definitive information on the release date and price of the Optimus Gen 2, but to talk more about the price, based on the previous prototype's estimated cost of $20,000 to $30,000 and the significant advancements in Tesla's Optimus Gen 2, we can expect a price range of about $25,000 to $50,000 US dollars. There are several factors that could influence the final price. First, its material and component cost. As the robot uses custom designed components and materials to allow for the enhanced capabilities and more human-like design, the production cost will most likely see an increase as compared to the previous model. Second is manufacturing scale. If Tesla can streamline the production process, it could potentially reduce the cost per unit. Third is target market. If the initial target market is industrial and commercial, the price may be higher than if it's just aimed at consumers. And lastly, technological advancements, further improvements in AI, battery technology, and third-party vendors could impact the cost of productivity positively or negatively. Don't quote us. Remember, these are just estimates, and the actual price of Optimus Gen 2 could be higher or lower depending on the factors mentioned. Now, what can Optimus actually do? It is able to walk forward, self-calibrate its limbs, and move them in various ways, as well as place its body into different positions, including one where it balances its body using one leg. The robot is capable of autonomously picking picking up, sorting, and making precise adjustments to objects it holds, such as repositioning a toppled toy block correctly. Additionally, it can recognize environments that it encounters and locate its own limbs within its field of view. Elon Musk said that Optimus would one day mow lawns and do dishes, but for the immediate future, it appears Optimus is designed to work side-by-side -side with people in manufacturing plants, where Tesla is planning to pilot a use case program for Optimus at one of its production facilities. Initially, we don't anticipate 
anticipate it will take over the complete range of tasks performed by Tesla's assembly line workers. Instead, it's likely to start with basic tasks, like transporting items from point A to point B. As the Tesla humanoid robot evolves, it will gradually undertake more intricate tasks, such as assembling various car components and performing painting duties. However, this won't be the limit of its capabilities. Eventually, the robot will be assigned to handle hazardous tasks, like operating near casting machines and giga presses. With appropriate training and the correct data, it will be capable of assuming these risky roles. The workers who previously performed these tasks will transition to supervisory roles, ensuring that operations are running smoothly and verifying that everything is functioning correctly. The Tesla bot is set to revolutionize assembly lines by eventually participating in the production of more Tesla bots. In essence, the Tesla bot will be involved in creating its own replicas. This process will start slowly, but as the number of assembled bots increases, these bots will in turn assemble more bots, leading to an exponential growth in their numbers. This method is how Tesla envisions scaling up to millions and eventually billions of humanoid robots by having the robots themselves facilitate the production of more units. In theory, Tesla's gigafactories could predominantly operate with Tesla bots, allowing human employees to focus on more creative tasks and supervising the bots to ensure everything functions correctly. Correctly. Additionally, Tesla workers are likely to shift towards roles involving data labeling and video trimming. These tasks will require a substantial amount of effort and expertise, and although Tesla can create or buy software to automate these tasks, it's still foreseeable that Tesla employees could gradually transition to these areas over time. Optimus is conceived as a work partner meant to save a large amount of time and effort from tedious and repetitive jobs. The goal is for it to take on tasks that humans usually prefer to avoid. However, despite its potential, this AI-driven robot remains a marvel in development, and its mass production and commercial availability is still on the horizon. This prompts society to consider the convenience of automated assistance versus the culturally ingrained fear of distant robotic revolution. Now, what are they concerned about with the introduction of humanoid robots like Optimus Gen 2? Do these improvements in robotics potentially threaten human jobs? Perhaps society weighs in more on the fears of AI and robotics, more than the actual opportunities or costs associated with it. The livelihoods of many people are at stake at the hands of automation. They may not see that perhaps they can evolve themselves and go from mundane roles with mundane tasks to more productive, managing roles. Rather than seeing that Optimus could supplement human labor rather than replace it entirely, they see more scenarios of layoffs that have a domino effect on livelihoods and families. Moving on from this concern, let's think, how will Optimus actually interact with humans. One thing Optimus will do is interact with humans, but it's unclear how well that will go. It uses artificial intelligence like Tesla's full self-driving tech, meaning the bot tracks human movements, sends the data back to the Tesla servers so that the AI and machine learning software can form the interactions and become better. Perhaps the market would look for more natural interaction from the bot, which would make it more user-friendly and approachable. But would this stop the uncanny valley effect? You know, the eerie sensation one feels when they encounter a robot with human-like characteristics. Only time will tell. We'll see how this bot pans out and its future iterations. Don't forget to subscribe to AI Symbiosis for the best news and information in the world of AI. What do you think of Tesla's Optimus? Let us know in the comment section below. We've also made a video on the major AI skills that will be needed this decade. Be sure to check it out so you don't get left behind. It's on your screens. Click now and we'll catch you there in a second. See ya!